Welcome to this YSL training video. In this short session we're going to teach you a little bit about how to make sure that column headings repeat on each page in a reporting services report. So what you'll learn in this session is all about how to control header rows in tables. We'll first of all mention where header rows appear, we'll then show you how you can make sure the header rows appear on each page in a report, and finally we'll show you a neat trick to make sure your header rows remain visible even when scrolling down the page. So let's get started. When you add a table to a report, the top row of the table always contains column headings. So in this simple example of films, I'm looking at the film title, release date and running time. If I preview my report, you'll see that the column headings appear at the top of the table on the first page. But the problem is that if I go to any other page in the report, my column headings don't appear. And that's something that I'd like to change. So in order to do that, I'll have to head back to the design view. To control the column headings in a simple table like this, I need to use the Groups panel shown here at the bottom of the screen. Now the Groups panel doesn't show me all of the information that I need to see yet. At the moment it's only showing me an item that corresponds to the Details row in my table. If I click on the Details item here, you can see that it selects the Details row in the table. I need to switch the row Groups panel into Advanced mode first, and to do that I use the drop down arrow at the top right hand corner here. If I click on the drop down arrow I can choose advanced mode and that exposes a few more items in the list. The one that I'm interested in is in the row groups panel and it's called static. If I click on that item you can see that it selects the first cell in the header row. Now all I need to do now is use the properties window to tell this static item to repeat on each new page. If you can't see the properties window or you're not sure where it is, head to the view menu at the top of the screen and choose Properties window. You can also just press the F4 key on the keyboard. That will take you straight to the correct window. So the option or the property that I want to change is called Repeat on New Page. It's currently set to False. Now the quickest way to change it to True is simply to double click on it. Alternatively you can click on the drop down arrow and choose True from the list. And that's all that I need to do. If I now preview my report I can see that my header, header row appears at the top of each new page. Perfect. There's one final thing that we can do to control the way column headings work, and that's to make sure that they stay at the top of the page even when we scroll down the, the, the list. At the moment, by default, when you scroll down the page, the column headings simply scroll past the top as well. So when you get halfway down the page, you're not entirely sure what data you're looking at. So to control this, let's head back to the design view. And once again we need to use this, uh, this static row in the groups panel down at the bottom. So I click on this item, I'll find the property in the properties window called fixed data. And if I change this from false to true by double clicking on it, when I preview my report now, you'll see that even when I scroll down the page, the column headings remain visible. It's not quite ideal just yet because by default a table has a transparent fill colour when you first create one, so you can actually see the data sitting behind the row titles, the column titles even. So to quickly change that, head back to the design view one more time. If you've clicked inside the table you should be able to select the grey block at the left hand side of the header row, and then you can simply use the fill colour tool to choose a background colour for the row. Even if you just choose white that's perfectly acceptable and that will hide the data when I choose OK and preview the report. You'll see that when I scroll up now the data is hidden behind this, this actual fill colour. So that's quite a nice little feature, you can actually see the column headings appear for every page of the report and that they'll even remain when you scroll down the page. If you've enjoyed this training video you can find many more online training resources at www.wisel.co.uk